Hey guys, I'm in Ross, and look at these chairs, these clear chairs. Oh man, those are so freaking cool. I love them. I've seen them around, but this is the first time I've got to see one in person because nowhere else sells them here, but Ross just happened to get them in. I really want one. I'll see if Michael will let me get one. It says that they're originally like 300 bucks. What the heck? Jeez, but 89, 99 here. Well, 90 bucks. And then I found some Hain planters. So those are awesome with the cocoa liner. Definitely gotta get a few of those. Hey guys, here is our cottage. I don't think I've ever showed you like the outside of it, but yes, there it is. Tiny little thing, but I like it. And Michael just actually, well, these are just pieces of driftwood that he sharpened the ends to and put them out here just as little stakes to kind of block off because people kept like pulling into the yard and like turning around and stuff. because. Well, we live on a really narrow street and so it's it's tough but they can go all the way around and and come back out instead of turning around in our yard especially because um when i start planting stuff here i don't want people coming in here and tearing it up <laughs> that's not good so there's my little tiny walkway um i think that i'm going to be planting i have roses that i want to plant today so i might like kind of line the walkway with some of my roses and then maybe in the back um, I'm gonna have a bed of uh, vegetables and then across the back I, I did decide to do um, the sunflowers in the back I know someone mentioned that and thank you yes for the reminder because I know they get really tall so I don't want them I don't want their shade blocking other stuff in here so those will have to go against the house Okay, I'm going to show you guys the living room, but don't judge. It's not done. I am just like in, still in progress of like getting it sorted out and how I want it and how I want it arranged. Um, also, I haven't cleaned it lately, so I've got like some piles of stuff over here, so try to ignore that. But I want to show you just a few of the kind of like home goods pieces that I've collected um, over the past month as I slowly, you know, it's just like the slow progression of changing this into what I want it to be. Um, it's a really tiny living room, and I actually don't even consider it a living room because we don't really have like the typical living room type stuff you know like we don't have big couches and we don't have like flat screen tv it's not like you know that sort of um, comfort level that uh, a lot of living rooms have it's mostly based around our office but i don't want it to look like too much of an office you know of course we have to have our computers out here because we're working all the time on them but I wanted it to be more of like a sunroom sort of feel because this is a south facing living room and we basically get sun like through these windows like from first thing in the morning till late in the evening. So it like really comes in like all day, it just like shines in here. So I thought it would be fun to make this more of a sunroom. So I, you know, focusing on kind of like almost an outdoorsy feel. So I've got my plants in here and I wanted some like, you know, sun, sunny kind of accent. So I thought yellow will be my accent color. It's mostly white, which is what I want. Um, so it has a light airy feel. But at the same time, I wanted like the sunny yellow as the accent. So anyway, I wanted to show you um, some of the kind of home goods that I got. Most of these items I picked up at Ross. So just so you know that ahead of time. <laughs> and I got this today actually. This and those two chairs, which I guess they call these ghost chairs, just like these um, like hard acrylic chairs. These are really nice. They almost look like glass. They're just like so, so beautiful. <laughs> I was really excited to find those. Um, they were $89, yeah, so 90 bucks. Um, it says compare at 300. I would definitely would not pay 300 for them, but um, 90, I can, I can swing that because we really needed chairs in here. We only had one and then Michael was usually sitting on my exercise ball, like on the other side of the table when we would work. So <laughs> we had to uh, get that chair situation worked out. I'm glad I found those and this. I absolutely love this throw and being that my colors for the sunroom are white and yellow, this was like a perfect match. So that'll probably go over this chair. Yeah, so it'll probably stay on this one. So this throw was $11.99, which is a good price. It's super soft. It's like ultra plush and soft. Love it. I also got these two throw pillows, which you're probably wondering, how did you get away with getting more throw pillows? Well, actually, I got rid of all my other pillows, just about like all my other throw pillows. I have one cream pillow in my room. And then I guess I have a leopard throw that, or a leopard throw pillow that Michael really likes, so I kept that one. So I only have two other than these two that I got to accent the living room. So that's how I got away with getting my two throw pillows. 
Oh, and for prices, let me see here. I think this one was like $6.99. Yeah, $6.99 for that one. And it's like a, it's a yellow faux suede. This pillow is actually a down pillow, which I didn't even realize when I bought it that it was down. Um, it, I don't know, it doesn't really matter to me anyway, but it just turned out to be a little more expensive than I had thought, especially for Ross. I didn't even realize it, like I didn't check the price until I got up to the, the register because they're typically all like around, you know, six or seven dollars. But it was actually twenty dollars. Yeah, compare at thirty. Anyway, um, I liked it enough that I, I still wanted to get it because it's all like woven and it's just really nice. It's really nice quality. So I'm really happy with accents that I found. Those will work in nicely to the sunroom. Um, love the ghost chairs. And then our table, we did have um, turned that way up against the window, but I didn't like it like that because I like to be able to see my my curtains. Um, I don't like to have stuff like smashed up against them. So we turned it out this way and we like that better anyway because then we can utilize both sides. And it's better for us for working, eating dinner and everything. Now on this side, this little stand here, I had actually planned on just picking up a plant stand, but then I was like, well, you know what? We don't have very much storage in here. I'd like to find something that could actually double as a plant stand and storage. And I just randomly came across this at Ross and I was like, that is perfect. That's exactly what I want. It has, um, I don't know if it's seagrass or, or what, but it's just a nicely um, kind of like earthy woven, um, you know, like baskets, bins basically, um, for the drawers and they have a little wood frame. So I thought I saved the tag to this. Um, I think Michael may have thrown it away because I thought I put it in the top drawer and now I don't see. But I don't, I don't think it's in here anyway. Okay, well I think it was about $40. Up on the table, that is nothing right now, that's just, well, I, I don't want to say nothing, I feel like I hurt its feelings. This is my lemon button fern. Um, it, it has to uh, get repotted, so it, it needs to get into an actual pot, like a terracotta or something. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that yet, I don't know if it's going to stay there or not. Up here, um, I picked up a couple of these little 4 inch terracotta pots, they are only 81 cents at Lowe's, can you believe that? I was like, what? What is sold for only like 81 cents at a retail store anymore these days? Anyway, so I had to get a couple of those for my succulents because those like to sit in the sun and I thought these fit like perfect on my windowsill here. And there's one missing there because, well, it's outside. It hasn't got anything planted into it yet, but when I do, it'll be in the window there. When I almost forgot, up top here, I have these galvanized containers. I found those at Ross. They were like three bucks or something. So I just picked up three of those because my plan was actually, well, I, I use these for anything. I love galvanized containers, especially when they come in like these kind of like oblong, like oval shapes. I just think they're so cute. So it's, it says uh, Botanica on one side and then on the other side, it's just plain. So you could use this like in the bathroom and have like washcloths like, um, like rolled up in it, or you could put, I don't know, gosh, like your bath salts or all kinds of stuff could sit in there and it j would just make like a really cute little bin. But um, my plan was to actually, I have like all these little, like little small planters like this, just like little plain, like dark green plastic ones. And so I hate to waste those. I like to try to reuse stuff. So I will probably, when my seeds get big enough, um, my, my starters, I'll put like my herbs into those that I have outside my mini ones and then like set like three of them in there and then they can be like blooming out of there. And then when I need to water them, I can just take them out and water them and um, put them back in when, when I'm done. So that was my idea for those. But yeah, these would be like really cute for storing any kind of stuff really. And then this is the start of my sort of like yellow bottle collection because I just started by painting like an old pickle jar. I know glamorous, right? Like old pickle jars and old ketchup jars. But I just wash them out because I hate just like recycle. I mean, you can recycle glass, no problem. But if I can repurpose it and still get use out of it, I, I love it. And I especially love it as like a little vase or something. Now the paint that I use, um, I've, I showed you in the last video, it, it's from Deco Art. Um, it's the Americana Satin Paint paints and they stick really well to glass and ceramics and all kinds of stuff but you have to bake it if you want it to be waterproof and dishwasher safe so you could do that but really all I do is just get like those little well you can eat them at florist but you can just set like a little container of water down inside there and just have that be like the outer part and then the water actually isn't having to be on the paint directly um, it just sits in the little um, plastic liner 
And so you can do the same thing with um, jars and bottles like or bottles like this. Um, you can go to a florist. They're super cheap, just like little flower liners or vase liners, whatever they're called. And you just like pop them right down in there, and they just hold right at the top. And then the water sits in there, so it's like a little like a little tube or something, you know, that sits like yay long. And then your flowers can poke out of that. So I put on this perfume this morning. It's Miss Dior Sherry, and no. Michael's grabbing it. He disapproves of it no, entirely. I do not. <laughs> He's very particular about the scents that he likes, isn't he? I don't like this one at all. Okay. To, uh, what does it smell like to you? Maybe it changed over the years. It might I've have. I've had it for a couple of years. Yeah. It's too powdery, I think. Mm. Yeah, it's. Floral? I don't know. It's... Okay. I mean, it's not gross, it's just. I don't... <laughs> Okay, now take a look at this. I got two of these, wait, no, I got three of these hanging baskets in this size, and then I got a larger medium-sized one. They had really big ones, but I don't want the really big ones. But look at this, $3.99 at Ross. Can you believe that? These things cost like, I don't know, they're like around between seven and $14 at Lowe's and Home Depot. I was just like, oh my goodness, because I just bought one for $7 at Lowe's just like the day before yesterday, but I'm already using it. So I like planted my strawberries up there like right away. So anyway, but I'm glad I found those because I can definitely use these. I don't, ha I don't have anything for them yet, but I will. So if you guys have any ideas of what I should plant in these, let me know. We're in Queen K. There's a, I almost call it wet seal. Now this is Jean's warehouse. I've got all kinds of minty stuff in. Very tempting. Can I look you're at the You're going to go in there, don't you? <laughs> I haven't been in there for like eight months. Yeah, maybe another time. Okay. <laughs> well, we're here paying our phone bill and dropping off some books, donating books to Friends of the Library. And then I got to go pick up some paint at Ben Franklin. What seal moved? Yeah, no, I, ha I didn't even get to go see their new store. It's at the other end of the mall. Another time, perhaps. Yeah. You're going to get some paint in here? Yeah, I got to go open the okay, So we're starting our first rose bed here. So I'm going to go parallel along our walkway. Um, so the first rose I'm going to plant is this one, the Miss All-American Beauty. Nice, gorgeous hot pink. And then I'm going to go with the Double Delight. Nice. And then this yellow one. There they are, my three rose bushes, which are basically just like a few sticks sticking out of the ground right now. But hopefully they'll grow. I kind of want to do a border. I don't know. I kind of like um, the really separated look of gardens, so I might do something around there. We'll see. Michael's going to take over the center spot. He wants to make his own bed there.